Hello and welcome to Bay One. This is Rafael Maraxi. We're taking yet another look at the new starter bots in Robocraft. Uh, this is getting expensive in terms of making new accounts all the time. Um, with the latest uh, mini patch changes and updates, they actually added in, uh, well, changed the first two starter bots yet again. Uh, because you can now have plasma at tier one as well. So. If we go and just take a look at these, this one um, it's a little bit different from what you remember. This is more a uh, a normal tank type design. Well, not a tank; it's a cruiser because you don't have treads in tier one. Um, but yeah, so it's just got six SMGs on it and relatively you know, streamlined and stuff. I still think I prefer the robot the robot in Bay Three here. Um, but yeah, that's just personal preference. And in Bay 2, they've actually got a robot that's using all of the curved uh, blocks. And it has a more fully armoured um, um, segments. And this actually uses tier 1 plasma cannons, so it gives a little bit more variety at the first tier. Uh, you'll see where they've used heavy blocks around the back of it. We haven't actually tried playing with this particular robot design yet. And you look inside here, there's this big void. So this is more or less, it's just built on like a sidewall type event. So it looks interesting, but we'll have to see how it actually functions in practice. Uh, anyway, so yeah, let's just take this one into battle and see how it runs. So hopefully the queue length here won't be too long. And let me just refresh my monitoring machine. Yeah, okay, so that's working. But yeah, other updates in this uh, one is... Um, mostly it's bug fixes other than adding plasma at tier 1. Um, fixed the bug where uh, TX plasma was not limited to 6 weapons firing at once. So apparently you could actually fire more plasma, uh, more than 6 TX plasma. Fixed the bug where if you're, you build a robot with a rotor paid high in your garage bay, it doesn't fly as it should. So that fixes some of the issues with um, heli blades, etc. Improve reliability of user authentication when logging in. Call fix the bug where sometimes when you use alignment rectifier enough to respawn, your plasmas would fire automatically. I've definitely seen that one a few times. Fix the major bug affecting the balance of all robots after respawn or after being healed. This particularly affected flyers causing stiffness or uncontrollability after respawn. Uh, now that is actually a pretty big and important change because uh, that was definitely getting somewhat frustrating when you were at, um, you know, being repaired mid-battle, you just respawn and things just weren't working correctly. And you'll see I'm actually playing on an account named Rafael Maraxi. That's because I keep having to make new accounts to test these brand new starter bots. Uh, I would like some ability to reset the account. But, yeah, well, that's just not available. Anyway, so I'm just going to give a quick begun. test on this robot and see how it fares. Okay, it skates a little bit. Oh, and I see where he's widened his design. It's just going with two plasmas on it. Interesting. Okay, I guess I'll follow the rest of the team. We. Oh, it's the rear wheels that do the steering on this design. That's interesting. Didn't realize that. Well, it makes for better control. No, no, it's not. It makes for better control on the ice in some ways. If I can get over. I shouldn't have done this. I should have just gone the other way. But anyway. Okay, so... Oh, it's a rear wheel on the back and a front wheel on... What the hell? Who made this design? Plasma 
Plasma at tier 1 or OP? Boom. Okay, so quick run with Plasma. Yeah, Plasma tier 1 is pretty effective. Lots of one shots, the kills happen in there. Uh, anyway, okay, so that was the run with that one, and let's go and take a look at the first level. I'm not sure if this actually really got modified or not, but okay, let's check the steering wheels on that plasma design and make sure I'm not being crazy. Okay, yeah, so you've got one rear steering wheel here and run front one front steering wheel, so. I'm not sure if that's intentional or someone screwed up, but that is a little bit frustrating. You'd want to definitely rectify that because that's a problem. There you go, that's a little bit better. And it's right on the cusp of still level one. Um, but yeah, that's somewhat annoying. Um, yeah, I wonder if they messed up or not. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so that would be an obvious thing. I'd make it a little bit easier to control. Um, and then, of course, you've got this one. So let's just take this one back for a another test drive. I'm not sure if this did change from the previous update, but um, I think it did actually. So let's just do this in classic mode. Anyway, um, yeah, also just to confirm a few things uh, from the patch notes with how um, damage affects your mass or your center of mass. Um, it When you lose big sections of your body, it definitely does affect your center of mass. Um, and it's somewhat complex in terms of working out how your rotation and thrusters and stuff still impact your robot. Um, but yeah, it's essentially FreeJam located a bug in that whole system and apparently they've got it fixed now. So um, I don't really have a good way of testing it on this account. I'd need to actually switch to my main account, which I'll do after this video. Uh, but yeah, we just need to get into battle, test out the uh, first robot and we should be good for this particular one. Uh, so it's, it's only in bays 1 and 2 for a new account that you actually get the slightly modified starter robots. And yeah, the bay 2, uh, now that you've got more options, I think bay 2 is certainly my favorite. Um, yeah. Over the Bay 3 robot, which is like the inline wheel type thing, that's still a pretty good and effective design. But Bay 2, uh, to be honest, you've got plasmas, you just kind of one shot everything. It makes a lot more sense to use it once you get a little bit of accuracy with the plasma. Going to practice mode, mess with that, then going to battle, uh, you're just going to dominate on the field unless you're coming up against actual customized designs. Meanwhile, let's see just how terribly I do with this. Actually, I'm going to stick with the allies there. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to want to spin out so easily, which is good. It's a lot more stable. Uh, the previous one, you could literally just turn and flip. Enemy spotted. Okay, I've lost all of my rear wheels thanks to Plasma. Yay. Luckily, I can still kind of steer. But now I've got to try and 
go back to our base. Yeah, I'm never getting back to the base in time. Oh well. Yes. Oh, and I got to level 3 from that, I think. Yep. Alright, well, anyway, that's the new uh, style of robots on base 1 and 2. You go back to base 3, it's still the same one that was there before. Um, yeah, they haven't modified anything on this. It's still a pretty good design, and it's effective, surprisingly effective. But anyway, thank you for watching this section of the video, and I'll be back soon. Goodbye. Oh yeah, don't forget to uh, check me out on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash robocraft bay01. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can catch these live streams on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash drafell, D-R-A-F-E-L-L. Or you can also find the Facebook page. Uh, please go ahead and like the Facebook page at robocraft bay01 on Facebook. Thank you. Goodbye.